Hello once again, this is your friendly sales rep Eric. Today we have a short video how to uh, convert a stainless steel transfer tube. Uh, so how to convert the transfer tube from your original. Here we have a stainless steel braided flexible transfer tube. As you see it is flexible, stainless steel braided. You have your uh, pipe fittings on either end, male pipe fitting and a female flare swivel on the opposite end. We have a check valve. You're going to need this because this fitting will have to be replaced. This is obviously the one-way check valve in the tank. You're going to have to uh, certainly replace this with a, a flare type. This is a male flare type, uh, which will match the female flare, uh, obviously, to the exhaust to your check valve. So we have a check valve and the transfer tube. So you won't, have, you won't uh, be able to just replace the tube itself, because you'll have no way to connect this to the tank. Hence, you'll need a new check valve. Okay, here we have a typical pump. This transfer tube can be used as a replacement for many different types of pumps. Uh, it can be portable, stationary, whether it's oil-free or oil bath, doesn't really matter. Um, if you want to, say, uh, replace it in, uh, with your uh, old uh, you know, transfer tube, in this case, a rigid line. This is a copper with a typical flare fitting. As you can see, vibration uh, over years causes this to either kink or crack, which will cause a leak in the transfer tube. And that is very common, you know, especially with compressors, uh, especially on the job site as well, you have a lot of vibration. And so that's going to take a toll on the, on the rigid lines, like this. So here we are, I already took off the compression adapter. You would have typically, you know, brass adapter here so you could thread on the, uh, you know, transfer tube, thread on the uh, fitting. I already took, removed that. So I have this original already off of the pump. Here we have just a, a cylinder in the head of the pump, just for demonstration, I took it off of the uh, tank. So what we're going to do here is, uh, I have a standard uh, stainless steel uh, tube here. This is going to be a half inch MPT, so it is half inch uh, male pipe thread that measures three quarter inch outside diameter. So that is half inch MPT, it's by 12 inches long, about a foot. You'll need to choose the right, obviously, the length uh, for your particular setup. This happens to be a 12 inch length. And that we have. And on the end, the out, outlet here to your tank, the female flare swivel. The swivel, obviously, you can see to make it easy to connect the fitting. And you can see it's a female flare type. The tube is actually flared on the inside. And of course, we have our 5 8 male flare check valve fitting, which will make to the transfer tube. Now, you ask why is this half inch and why is this 5 8 Well, with a female flare fitting and matching it to a male flare, uh, the check valve well, always the flare measurement on the check valve will always measure an eighth inch over. So eighth inch, uh, you know, half inch plus an eighth inch equals five eighths. So it always measures eighth inch over the actual, uh, you know, size of the transfer tube fit. All right, so easy enough. Just simply going to connect this first to the head. And what I did was I took some Teflon tape or plumber's tape, wrapped it around the threads to prevent leaking. Absolutely necessary to do that because it's a, uh, you know, obviously you have air passing through. So install Teflon tape on the thread, install it to the half inch female uh, port on the head. Make sure that's nice and tight. Obviously you get a wrench around it, make sure it's nice and tight. The demonstration, obviously I uh, can just tighten it by hand. On the outlet going down to your check valve or down to your tank, I'm gonna attach this end, which is the 5 8 male flare end to the half inch female flare swivel. So we thread that on, make sure you do not cross thread it, because that will cause leaking, so you definitely do not want to cross thread. You know, obviously get a wrench around that, make sure it's nice and tight, and of course it is uh, flexible, so you can flex it down to a 90 degree if you need, and obviously this will install directly into the half inch fitting on your tank. So we have a half inch male down to your tank, and uh, that's as easy as it is. And uh, now obviously you'll change this or may, may order this accordingly for the length that you need, they come in anywhere from, say, 7 inches up to 30 inches long, whatever you need. Uh, like I said, this is just for demonstration purposes. But that's essentially how you, to install a stainless steel transfer tube. If you have any more questions, you can certainly call a sales rep or visit the technical document that we have on mastertoolrepair.com. And that's about it. Thank you once again for watching.